What up geeks? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about what happened when I lit the truth candle. Stay tuned. So that is what the truth candle looks like after I've lit it. I uh, will put a clip, a few clips of what it looked like before I lit it. And I think I have one of when I lit it up for the first time. I've only used it once but I'll put a clip of that up there. I'll try to remember. Okay, so the truth candle is a candle that, according to the description, it is a candle with uh, that will reveal to you what you ask it. It says that it is not going to candy coat it, so make sure you are ready for the truth. Now, to be honest, I'm kind of speechless, to be honest, like seriously, because when I say this candle has changed my life, it's changed my life, like literally, it has changed my life. The things that took place in the short amount of time that it did, I was not prepared for it so I would say when you write your chant just be be more specific than I was because I just said reveal to me the unknown okay that, that was all I said and that was too much it was way too much let me get into the story before I get into this story I just want to let you guys know that it might be a long video I have to piece this together so that you guys understand how we got here. I'm gonna try to start from the best way possible. Okay, here we go. In my obsession video, I remember telling you guys that I, I used it to do certain things like, you know, um, what did I say? Get my temps on the first try. Um, and at the end of it, I told you guys that I was going through something and that something was, you know, from a person that had some stuff on them, basically. And it, it, it got me. That's what, that's what I said. I believe that's something of that nature is what I said. I remember telling you guys that I was going to light candles to help me figure, you know, combat that. And I can't remember whether I did or didn't. When I would be in the environment of said person, I would, like, my thoughts would, I, my thoughts would leave me. I was lazy. I felt so defeated to the point where I didn't even want to go outside. But it wasn't until I left out the house, when I stepped outside, Literally, when I stepped outside and started to walk, it's like everything started to come back to me. My thoughts, I started to feel better, and I would go to work, and I would get around these amazing people, and they would speak life into me, and they would tell me, they would say, yeah, you can do this, and I want you to do this, and they would try to help me and encourage me to do certain things, and it would make me feel better. And to be honest, it reminded me of church, you know, when you go to... Um, go there on Sunday and you get what you need, you get fed, and then, you know, you got to deal with your demons and, and the, the spirits of other people, stuff like that, Monday through Saturday, or if you, you know, especially if you don't go to Bible study, you know, Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Monday, or whatever day it is, two, three times a week or whatever, um, you have to wait those five, six days before you can get, you know, that thing that your pastor, your bishop, your apostle gives you. So that's, that's what I felt like. So coming into this year, I knew that I really wanted something different. I knew that I had written down goals for myself and I knew that I had to find some way to motivate myself again. I knew I had to find something. So I decided to light some candles and I did. Unhex, my halo. I don't think I did healing. I'm not sure if I did healing, but I know I did my unhex and my halo. And I knew I wanted to light the truth candle just to see what it did. I don't know. Um, when it comes to these candles that I have, because I have a lot of them, I knew that the love candles, I don't need love. I don't need, I don't need that. I need to love myself, but I don't need love from another person. I, I mean, it's a lot of people that are attracted to me, but I, nah, uh -uh, I'm good. You stay over there. I'm fine. I just, I knew that I needed some things, and I know in order to get those things, if I were going to use um, conjure, magic, spell, candles, that type of thing, I know I needed to do the basic candle sequence so like I said I did my unhex my halo and um, my crossroads my Mars that type of thing and by the way it takes you at least two weeks 14 days to get through the beginner bundle because it's three days apart so if you count the three days you get the number that I'm coming up with I picked the candle like I said which was the truth candle and I I don't think I'm not sure if I had any reasoning for it I might have I, I don't remember but I just picked it because I had already, I lit the good fortune candle. Maybe it's not time, maybe it's not my time for it, but, or maybe the things that I got was my good fortune. Cause I keep thinking about money, but maybe it was something totally different. Maybe it was these things that came to me to produce money. 
aha okay now that i'm okay so just saying that let me know that everything that's happened up until now was the result of said candles actually i hadn't thought about it like that but thank you spirit i shall so my tents expired february 2022 i knew that i was going to have to renew them so february ended up being a bad time for snow so i could not make it the day that um it was supposed to be renewed so i went the very next day passed it first try i said okay we are on our way after that i bought a car now the car had been i want to say waiting for me because the person who i bought it from we when i say i work next to this person literally i work next to this person and he drives this car every day and so he was getting ready to sell it to another person and that person just out of nowhere was like you know what i'm gonna i'm not gonna buy it he went and bought something else that was cheaper and i ended up being able to buy the car cash let that sink in so that that was two actually i bought the car first i'm trying to remember the order. i bought the car first then i took my temps yes that's what happened then after that i got offered a position that i had to apply for i had to interview for now many interviews we don't work well together we crash and burn i haven't interviewed for anything in five six years so you know I'm over here, I'm just sweating bullets, just, oh, I don't know. So when this person came to me, they came to me out of nowhere. They were just like, hey, what are you doing? I feel like you would be a good fit for da 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 I'm like, uh, I don't know, it seems kind of salesy, and I'm an introvert, so I don't think I don't know how to sell, and you know, so she's like, oh, I feel you would be, be, be great for it, and I think you should apply. First I was like, eh, I don't think about it, and I was like, no, but then, I really started thinking about it when I went home and I was just like, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna do it. I told this person I was gonna apply and basically they helped me interview for it and got the, got the position. Then after that, shit hit the fan. Now keep in mind that somewhere in the middle of all this goodness that my silly self, I lit this candle. This this one right here, I, I lit this candle. I don't remember what day it was. I might have look on my um, iPad and just put it in here somewhere. But I lit this candle like a silly person and I told it, I said, reveal to me the end though. That's what, that's what I said. That's exactly what I said. And that's exactly what it did. I say that because about three days later, my personal life took a major hit. Remember that person that I told y'all had all that stuff on him or them, but that person decided to like reveal himself to me. So I come in the house and it just blew up in my face. As a person, you just, sometimes you want to cling and hold on to, to something that you've been clinging and holding on to for um, years and you, you're scared of the unknown. You're scared of what if, what might happen if this person does this, that, or the other. You're not used to thinking for yourself by yourself, right? You're used to everybody doing things for you. You're used to those environments and those settings as I was. But it wasn't until after this person got done blowing up on me, something in me said, really just go, you gotta go. You got to go. After all these, you got to go. So, now, be, me being me, because of my situation, I just, I couldn't put my foot in front of the other. I couldn't walk out the door. I couldn't pack my stuff and leave. I couldn't. I don't know what the issue was, but I couldn't leave. Something told me to just do it. So, then I went outside. I got in my car that I just bought that I don't really drive because I didn't know how to drive. I decided to call a few people. And when I tell you, he, I swear, man, this, this person is from, like, he know how to, you know those people that you have those friends that just know how to impart into you? They know how to get you to move when you can't move on your own. What Vicky wanted to say, um, shake yourself loose, rele release the chains that have been binding you. Like this person, they know how to do it. Say something to me and I just be like, yeah, yeah, you're right, man. We Okay, we got this, I got this, I got this. After all of that, I ended up being able to move from that situation, not that far, but I moved from that situation into um, a place of my own. And so far, it's it's been okay. Right, because when I was in that situation, it, you know, I took all my altars down, and y'all know how I love Papa Lake. I love me some Papa Lake, but listen, um, I took his altar down because I just didn't feel comfortable, and the the space and the environment was not clean enough for me, so I just decided to just do away with it for the current time. This candle, when I say it changed my life, it really literally changed my life, but it also has shown me, you know, the true nature of a person. You know, it, it showed me just how someone who you think is for you really doesn't have your best interest at heart. Really. When I can't repeat none of these things that this person has said to me, it, it just won't do anybody any good. But they were not, the situation was not good. And it's something that 
it happens often you know what i mean like you talk about verbal abuse like it was never physical but it was like it was always verbal i got tired y'all i got tired i just you know i needed somebody to help me get out of the situation and when i tell you they they showed up for me like i couldn't believe when you when you're good to people they will be good to you you know they will turn the favor in other ways and so these things that have happened to me these good things that have happened to me are those you know repayments um and so this candle is is something that if you're not careful honestly one thing that i will say about this candle that i realized later because when i light them i don't you know i have so much going on in my life that i light it and just kind of like forget it because i'm i'm when i say i'm busy i'm busy so when people say don't stop the candle don't think about it i have no problem with that with this particular candle i feel like what it says in the description is absolutely true and i feel like if you are going to light this candle number one do it correctly meaning do your unhex your halo you know your secrets of candles protect yourself that type of thing um number two it's, it's probably going to be a third in there somewhere but just make sure like me i could not discern or i couldn't um see this happening to me not like this so in the case of you guys i would say that just take inventory over your situations in your life and just be prepared because to be honest i was not and that wasn't the only thing that i was not prepared for because um i lit another sequence of candles and when i tell you that i had to stop and i did stop lighting them because of what was getting ready to happen i stopped just be mindful of how it may present itself to you because you don't know and just if you can be ready if you if you like this candle just be ready but for whatever you think it's going to be just be ready because like i said I was not ready so going forward there are a few things that i do want to do because um ever since i lit that candle i have not lit another candle for myself and i feel like i really need to i'm gonna try to get back into my old routine of you know um ancestor my ancestor altar my papa legba altar i even have a papa dambala candle that is in my closet that i want to show you guys i also want to show you guys my candle collection because it has grown it has grown a lot i also want to get back into showing you guys the candles how they look what i'm going to use them for i also want to get into the you know show you guys what the conjure candles how they um should be set up and how they work when i start to use them I haven't seen someone on YouTube show you guys how um, the setup goes, like like as a demo. I want to show you guys how I actually, you know, did the candle for my target and how I do it for myself. All right. I think this video is going to be long enough. Just stay tuned for more videos because I really want to get back into the um, habit of making them, especially when I start using them for my own personal purposes interested in seeing now the space that i'm in currently how they are going to manifest themselves or how spirit is going to manifest um, itself in my life so you guys be blessed take care and if you have any questions at all just leave them in the comment section um i know that sometimes i take a minute to get back to you guys it's because i don't see your comments until like days later so Whenever I see them, I try my best to get to them as soon as I see them. You guys are blessed. Take care and talk to you in the comment section. Toodles.